Our journey began at a busy Chester railway station as we made our way towards the stadium. The stadium itself is a little bit outside of the city so we made our way out of the train station and through the beautiful city of Chester, a historical city but not so much pointing towards the influence of football on the city. Of course with all of its Roman heritage as well it is a sight to see for sure but anticipation grew as we left the main part of the city and headed towards the Leap 76 stadium. As we arrived at the stadium we were greeted by this happy chap certainly one to keep an eye out on. We made our way through the historic gates and towards the stadium and my excitement was certainly building as we were ready to enter the stadium. Looking around there was a good sized car park and of course the team is part of the Vanarama National League North. Let's get inside. As we went in through the ticket office, we had a chance to look at some of the memorabilia from down the years, looking at some of the biggest contributors to the club as well and seeing a few famous faces on the walls. First of all, we took a look around the home dressing room. This is where the manager will prepare his team prior to the games and give his final words before the big matches. Players will have an opportunity to get themselves mentally ready for the challenge ahead of whichever fixture they are taking part in. Next on the agenda was to have a look at the away changing room, certainly slightly more modest than the home team, but any advantage is crucial at this level. Let's head into the actual stadium itself. Chester moved here in 2011. What a stadium it is. It's a fantastic stadium. They average around about 1,500 fans each week for promotion once again this season. It's a beautiful stadium, full of blue, full of white, of course. The Leap 76 Stadium has been home to Chester Football Club since 1992. Of course, the Phoenix Club did arise from 2010 onwards, but the club remained in this stadium. Before, of course, playing at the Leap 76 Stadium, they did spend some time at Sealand Road from 1906 all the way until 1992. During that period, they also had some time at Moss Road playing for Macclesfield. As you can see from the stadium, it's a beautiful stadium to look at. Here, of course, is where the home team will be sitting as their substitutes get ready to warm up. The gaffer, of course, getting his instructions across and the away team will be taking a seat here. This is where Callum will be delivering his instructions to the players on the pitch, whether that be praise, motivation or a little bit of discipline. The stadium has three seating stands where you can sit and enjoy the game and watch as the Mighty Seals aim for victory. The famous Harry McAnally stand, or otherwise known as the Harry Mack stand, was opened in 2006 and is a standing terrace. It was named in honour of one of their most famous managers who passed away sadly two years earlier. Here you will see the ultras as such of the club banging the drums and supporting the team on a weekly basis. You'll certainly see a few familiar faces of the Sestrian Central in this crowd. The stadium's initial capacity was 6,000 spectators, but it's now down to 5,400. The stadium was home to Liverpool's under-21s. They played there between 2014 and 2016, and of course it is the home of Chester FC. What a stand this is. This is certainly somewhere where you would get the big fans standing out and singing along and supporting the team. With such an ambitious club and such a fantastic stadium, this side will be looking to be playing in the National League next season. Can they get it? That is the big question. But certainly, the Leap 76 Stadium will be a tough ground for fans to visit as they look to try and take three points away from the Mighty Seals. But let's hope that they can push for promotion once again this year.